All right, what is up, you freaking geniuses? Today, you're gonna get a little smarter because I'm gonna introduce you to fractions. All right, so they're not that bad. Don't be scared. We're gonna get through this, all right? So, first of all, what is a fraction? All right, so a fraction is simply a number that's used to represent a part of something or a piece of something. All right, so I have this pie here. This big, beautiful pecan pie. All right. Okay, so I have one whole pie. Okay. But what if I cut this thing in half? All right. What if I cut it straight down the middle? So I'm going to try and draw a straight line down the middle. Ooh, that's pretty close enough. Okay, so as you can see, we have two equal pieces now, right? We still have the one whole pie, but they're split into two equal pieces. So what if I ate one of the pieces? What if I ate this left side? Boom. I just ate it because I was super hungry. So if I ask you, how much of the pie did I eat? How could I show that with a fraction? Okay, so first of all, what is a fraction? How can we write a fraction? Okay, so a fraction is simply a number over another number. All right, cool. So what do we know about these numbers? All right, so this top number is called the numerator. Numerator. And the bottom number, abbreviating bottom, is called the denominator. Denominator. Whoa, those are mouthfuls. All right, so numerator and denominator. Here's a little trick I used to use in order to memorize which one goes where. Okay, so thinking about a compass, right? We've got a compass right here, and we know the directions, right? North, east, south, west, okay? So as you can see, north is pointing up. The N is pointing up towards the top, okay? So the N goes on top. Now, what about the denominator? Well, the denominator starts with D, and so does the word down, okay? So I would remember denominator down, okay? So those are two ways you can try and memorize those. Numerator, numerator is on top, denominator is on bottom. All right, so what do these two numbers represent, the top and bottom? Okay, so the top number, the numerator, represents how many pieces we have. Okay, and the bottom number, so we put the top number over the bottom number. The bottom number, the denominator, represents how many total pieces we have. Total pieces. All right, so if I asked you again, how much of this pie did I eat? Okay, well, I ate one piece, right? I ate this whole piece right here, ate that piece, and we put that over the total number of pieces. How many total pieces are there? There's two, right? So I ate one piece, but this other piece is still here. Okay, so we have two total pieces. And notice the pieces are of equal size. That's very important. They're equal. Two total pieces. Okay, so if I ask you, how much of this pie did I eat? One over two, or one half of the pie. Okay, those are just two different ways of saying it. So, one more example. What if I ate both pieces of the pie? Okay, what if I ate uh, this piece also? Okay, now I ate both pieces. Okay, so I ate two pieces. How many total pieces are there? There's one, there's two, right? So still, same thing, two total pieces. So I ate two out of two pieces, two over two. And what's two over two? Two divided by two is just one, okay? Which makes sense, right? Because I ate one whole pie, which was this entire thing right here, right? That's one whole pie. There were two pieces, and I ate two pieces. So that's one whole pie. All right, great. So let's go to the next example. Okay, so here's the next example. As you can see, we have one big square. 
right, the outline of this big square, but we divided this thing into four little squares, right? So this is our one square, two squares, three squares, four squares. So what if I asked you what fraction of the square is red? Okay, so remember, there's two numbers, right? There's one on top, one on the bottom. Top number says how many pieces we have, pieces we have over total pieces, right? So if I ask you again, what fraction of the square is red? Okay, well, we have one red square. We have one red square. How many total squares do we have? Four, right? One, two, three, four. So this would be equal to one over four, or one fourth is another way of saying it. All right, so here's another one. What fraction of the whole square is blue? Okay, so we have two blue squares, squares, right? How many total squares? Four. So we have four total. So this is equal to two over four. Okay, so let me switch up the question a little bit. What fraction of the whole square is not red? Okay, how many pieces do we have that are not red? Okay, well, we have two blue pieces and one green one. So we have three pieces that are not red. So we have three pieces that are not red over four total pieces, right? That doesn't change. So what fraction of the square is not red? Three over four or three fourths is another way of saying it. So here's one more. What fraction of the whole square is not blue? Okay, now we want ones that are not blue. What fraction of the whole square is not blue? Okay, well, not blue. So we have a red one here and we have a green one here. So we have two squares that are not blue. Two squares are not blue. How many total squares? Four. Okay, so that's equal to two over four. All right, and here's one more example, one other application that's a little different, but it's still the same theory. Okay, let's say we're at a party. Woo, party. All right, so let's say there's 10 boys. And let's say there's five girls, okay? So this is still gonna be the same process. Now, what if I asked you what fraction of the people at the party are boys? Okay, well, let's see. We have 10 boys, right? How many total people do we have? Well, we have 10 boys and five girls, right? So 10 plus five equals 15 total people. Total people. Okay, so 10 boys and there's 15 total people. So again, what fraction of the people at the party are boys? 10 over 15. Okay. Now, what fraction of the people at the party are girls? Okay, well, that's going to be five girls, right? Over how many total people? 15 total people. So that's equal to 5 over 15. Okay. And one more time. What fraction of the people at the party are not girls? Well, if they're not girls, they must be boys. So we have 10 boys. How many total people? 15 people. 15 total people. So that's equal to 10 over 15. Okay, guys, so I hope that helped. That's just a quick little intro into fractions, what we kind of use them for. And every example we did here uh, in this video were known as proper fractions. So a proper fraction is just when basically the top number is smaller than the bottom number. Okay, but there are cases where these two switch, and those are called improper fractions. And that's what I'm going to be covering in the next video, along with mixed numbers.
And I'm going to also teach you how we can convert from one to another. So from improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. And then it's all going to be really helpful when we get into adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so definitely check that out. Hope it helped. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next one.